Could Indiana go green in 2020? Two state lawmakers feel like Indiana has a real shot at legalizing and decriminalizing marijuana statewide. News 8's David Williams explains. The way Republican State Rep Jim Lucas and Democrat State Senator Karen Tallian see it, it's time lawmakers seriously consider cannabis. Lucas plans on filing legislation that would legalize medical cannabis statewide. There are just a whole spectrum of benefits that this brings to people, better quality of life, and not just that, but significantly less side effects than many of the prescription medications they're taking now. Just yesterday, acting Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears announced his office will no longer prosecute adults on possession cases of less than one ounce of marijuana when that charge is the only or the most serious charge. God bless that man. I want to buy him a steak there. Anything he wants at St. Elmo's or whatever restaurant in, in, in Indianapolis, I don't care. What he did, he, he is going to force the conversation um, at the state house that should have been had years ago. It's a conversation Democrats say Senator Karen Talian's had for years. She's planning on filing a bill that would decriminalize possession of less than an ounce of marijuana statewide. Last week at the Criminal Corrections Committee, um, the um, prosecutors, you know, State Prosecutors Association, uh, told us that last year there were 22,000 arrests for marijuana possession. So let's start there, let's get rid of that. Talian plans a couple other bills. One would create a statewide compliance commission. We have people all over who uh, want to start um, processing hemp. They want to start making CBD oil. Um, it says you're supposed to have a license, but there's nobody in charge of issuing licenses. Is 2020 the year Indiana could pass some sort of cannabis bill? I pray we do. I mean, this this is an issue that I, I laid awake at night, you know, trying to wrap my head around why we are not at least having the conversation. I think it could be a time when we decriminalize it. State Rep Jim Lucas plans to file his bill in about a month or so. State Senator Karen Tallian is still working on her bills. In the State House, I'm David Williams, Wish TV News 8. David, thank you. New at 5, the Indianapolis mayor and police chief are speaking out. This is a day after the Marion County Prosecutor's Office said it will no longer prosecute simple marijuana possession cases. So both men say they were just as surprised as everyone else, despite the prosecutor saying they were part of the conversation. Wish TV Sierra Hignite joins us now live with more on that. Sierra. Mayor Joe Hogsett and Police Chief Brian Roach say they both were part of general conversations with the prosecutor regarding public safety and violence prevention. However, today, both men standing by the fact that they say they had no idea the prosecutor was going to make this announcement in regards violence, uh, to the policy change. As of now, IMPD Police Chief Brian Roach says he and his officers are still going to enforce Indiana state law and continue making arrests for marijuana possession. Officers have always been able to use discretion during arrests, and Chief Roach says they will continue to do that. But at the point that an officer confiscates marijuana, they will have to go through the proper protocol to fully investigate the situation. Once you're arrested for anything, uh, you go to the detention and then there's a presentation of probable cause. Uh, and then it's at that point where the prosecutor's office decides not to file those charges. The only entity that can charge anyone with a crime is the Marion County Prosecutor's Office. And there is no ambiguity in this policy. We are not charging people uh, if it is less than 30 grams of marijuana. Chief Roach says that he can't see his officers changing protocol in terms of marijuana possession until Indiana legislators make changes to the law. Now, coming up at 6, hear more from both the chief of police, the prosecutor, and also the mayor and how this decision will continue to affect those in Marion County. Reporting live downtown, I'm Sierra Hignite with TV News 8. Sierra, thank you.